hello friends in this video you are going to learn what is a rotating bridge rectifier how to test rotating bridge rectifier working principle of bridge rectifier and how to install rotating bridge rectifier today we are going to test and install this bridge rectifier which is lorai somer bridge rectifier bridge rectifier basically rectifies the alternating current or ac current to direct current or dc current dc voltage from the rotating bridge rectifier is applied to the main field such rectifiers are designed to rotate on the shaft with the exciter armature and the main field that's why they are called rotating bridge rectifier first you have to select a suitable multimeter this is unity multimeter and you have to use the common port and the port with the mark of voltage and the diode and milliampere i am going to use it this multimeter for testing the diode rotate the selector switch toward the diode mark there you can see the diode testing is selected also the small select switch near the screen need to be pressed so that we can select the diode testing now after selecting from both positions the diode testing we will start the testing procedure for the diodes this is the diode sign you can see next to resistance the number 1 pin is common output and the remaining 3 these 3 are the diodes we are going to test as we are testing the negative diode we will connect the negative with the diode and the positive with the common and it will show us the value of the diode there you can see it's 0 0.470 0 0.495 and the number 1 was 0.505 or 506 if we reverse the polarity it won't show any reading it means that the bridge is okay now that is the positive side of the diode bridge and to test the positive we will make the negative as common and then we will test all the three diodes the central diode is faulty while the other two have given us the reading of 4 or 500 now that is the new bridge rectifier and on connecting the positive at the common it haven't shown us the reading and on reverse polarity it has shown almost 0.500 reading for the value of each diode that is the positive diode bridge and again we will test the negative diode bridge negative side of the diode bridge in fact there you can see very easy to test you can do it yourself now we will take out the faulty diodes from the alternator as you can see they are installed on the exciter armature and i have already told you they will provide the dc voltage to the main field as you have already learned what is a bridge rectifier and how to test the bridge rectifier now i am going to tell you about the working of bridge rectifier while you can see the removing process of the bridge rectifier they are very easy to remove six wires from the armature the exciter armature are connected on the diodes and two wires are for the output to the main field after removing the screws holding the or not bolts holding the wires you have to remove the screws holding the diode bridge which are installed on the back side of 
a bearing. Now I am going to tell you about the working of bridge rectifier. The bridge rectifier converts the DC current, AC current to the DC current. Alternating current has a frequency of 50 to 60 hertz depending upon the location of your country. In some countries it's 50 hertz, in some countries it's 60 hertz. On conversion to DC, the frequency will drop down to zero. The frequency is positive and negative, half positive and half negative cycle. During the positive half cycle, the positive diodes are in conducting state. The positive diodes of the bridge are in conducting state, while negative set of diodes are in non-conducting state. Similarly, during the negative half cycle, the negative set of diodes are in conducting state, while positive set of diodes are on in non-conductive state. During the positive half cycle, the positive current is out, and during negative half cycle, the negative current is out, and they can be measured on negative and positive output of this diode bridge. As you can see, we are repeating the process of testing the diodes. First, the negative plate, all the diodes are faulty. They are showing us the resistance of 0, 2, 0, 3, which means that diodes are short. While the positive side, two diodes are okay and one is faulty. There you can see. With the help of multimeter, it is verified that four of our diodes are faulty. Four out of six diodes are faulty and two are working okay. So we have to replace the complete diode bridge. After confirmation that the diodes are faulty, we have purchased the new diodes. I have already shown them in the beginning of the video during the testing procedure of new diodes. Now this was the previous night and the next day we have purchased the new diodes and the thick wire here you can see is the output wire which is giving current output current to the field winding after installing the diodes we will install the wires on the bridges three positive wires three wires are negative and two wires are the output wires here you can see on the right side three wires are positive and on the left side three are negative connecting with the diodes and in the center are the two output wires which are giving current to the field these three are the positive diodes and this is the output of the positive diode. This is negative output and three negative diodes which will generate the negative which will change the current to the negative. Now we have started the generator and we will check for the old output voltage on this module. We will scroll through. These are the different parameters on the module. When the generator is running, there you can see 401 volt frequency is 52.6, power factor is 1. It means that the newly installed diode bridge is working ok. I am unable to share the video of the generator not generating the current because the self starter was rotating with the engine as it is connected with the voltage when engine generator produces the voltage the self starter self start disconnects thanks for watching the video and subscribe the channel for more videos like that